Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with me, and we're gonna make some little pouches using material. And I may make a few with some. This is wallpaper. Now I totally got this idea inspired by Natasha. I think she did it last year, but I was looking at this little piece of fabric that I had left just off of the cut from my winter journal and from the AJ journal and I, I thought I need to make something with that but I don't know what so I was searching different things last night on the internet and her video popped up so I thought that would be a great idea I will link her video below you can go over and check that out thank you Natasha for the inspiration now I'm using a pretty big book page and this is a nice thick book page it just gives this a little bit more stability I think that's what she used as well. This is uh, about five and three quarters, a little bit over, by uh, nine and a half. Now you can use a smaller one if you want a smaller pocket. That's strictly up to you. Now I'm going to stitch mine, but you don't have to stitch it. You can just use all glue. So whichever way you want to do it is fine. But I'm going to stitch mine around the edges like she did. So let's see, I want, I need to make sure I put my, tear, my fabric the right way so my, see my little turtle is going to fly upside down that way. Let's see if I, what I got up here. That would be okay. Okay, we're going to put it down here. Don't want that turtle scooting along upside down, do we? All I'm going to do is put a little bit of glue right in the middle of this just so that it'll keep it glued down well enough that I can cut around it and stitch around it. Okay, there we go. I'll tell you while I got my glue out, I'm going to go ahead and put some on this page too. Or on this piece. Now this has got that little selvage on there. I'm just not going to worry about it. These book pages have photos on them, but I'm not going to worry about that either because this is not going to show through. This is just going to give it a little bit of stability. Now it will show at the top where you fold it over. So we might need to, let's see. Um, I don't mind that page showing on there, or that little bit showing on there. That's fine. It's just Eskimos. That's okay. And let's make sure that we got this. Yeah, I think that'll work. Now, I think Natasha stitched around hers and then trimmed. I think. I'm not 100% I'm not sure. I watch these videos late at night, and I get the ideas in my head. And then I forget exactly what happened when... <laughs> It comes time to make them. I don't know why I'm trimming that with this. I'm not going to use that right now. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and stitch mine around the edges. And then I will cut it. And then we'll glue the sides uh, or the bottom up. So let me think about this. I want it stitched. I think I'm going to do a zigzag part of the way, straight stitch part of the way, that kind of thing. I'm going to go ahead and trim this one off. That way we can do this one as well while we're at the sewing machine. And I will see if I can get my camera hooked up where I can film that. Don't know if I can or not. If I can't, you will not see it. If I can, you will see it. <laughs> All right, we are ready to trim these down and make some pockets. Now, Natasha just trimmed with the pinking shears. She just trimmed the top and the bottom. She didn't trim the sides, and I think that may be what I do. And I'm just trimming basically the material. I'm not worried too much about the paper. So let's trim the bottom. Your paper should be pretty square. I mean, I went ahead and cut mine where it was a little bit more square than it, <laughs> than it was when I took it out of the book but it should be pretty square okay now what we need to do is fold this up 
I'll fold it about. No, nope, that's going to be upside down. I'm going to fold it about right there. And then this piece is going to fold down. Now, this is the first one that I have made, and evidently I have cut the side crooked. So we're just going to straighten that up. It's not a problem. We'll straighten it. And before we glue, that will be okay. Okay, that looks good. So there is one, and we can glue this side now, and I'm just going to use some Fabri-Tac. You can go back and sew it again, stitch down through there if you want to. Uh, we might on another one. This one, it's my first trial and error, so we're just going to do it this way. And I actually did cut into my stitching right there, but that's going to be the back of the pocket, so I'm not going to worry about it. Like I said, this is my first one, so we'll get better as we go along. I don't do a prototype in the beginning normally. <laughs> Sometimes I have to, but normally I don't. So what you see on the video is my first. So this is my first. Okay, now I'm not going to come up very far here. I'm going to leave, that looks like about a half an inch or a little bit more, maybe five-eighths of an inch between the top of this and my fold over that gives me plenty of room to get everything down in there now like i said if you want to go back and stitch that you can but i'll probably glue my pocket down anyway so i'm not going to worry too much about that back and i like that okay and we can also also put something on this to keep it closed let me make sure that the top is kind of sort of straight yeah it looks pretty good all right, I'm going to lay that aside and let that one dry. That's one. Now, this one's the one that had the wrinkles in it, so we'll see what we can do with that. It. It's got a few little wrinkles right here where I didn't pull the paper out well enough. But you know what? I will still use it. not going to worry too much about it. We could put this in a junk journal, and nobody will know the difference, will they? I'm going ahead and cutting up the sides on this one. I don't know why, but I am. There we go. And then cut across the top. And if you don't get it perfectly straight cut, don't worry about that. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is a project that can be interpreted many different ways. So it's not one of those things that just has to be perfect and don't even think about trying to make it perfect now let's see if I put those that way that's going to be upside down so this is going to go this way so my piece will be right side up and then this is going to fold over like that see I have a little bit of a wrinkle right there but you know what that is, doesn't worry me at all because guess what this will go in my journal anyway and I think it will be just fine all right I'm just going to make sure my sides are even and they look like they are got a little bit of a piece right there you can always spray the sides too and then that will fold over go ahead and fold that down see I can put something over that little pucker right there I got a little tiny pucker there I can put something over that that's just where I didn't put the glue in the paper or the paper down well enough with the glue so that's not a biggie okay we'll put a little glue here And if you'd rather go back and sew it, then you can do that. Just go back and stitch. And I will probably press these tonight under something. That way that'll help that a lot to be flattened out more. So there is that one. Looks like I got it folded a little off. Okay, let's see. This is five and a half by four so that's a good size for the journal right there okay we're going to lay that one aside and let it dry now I have some other materials here but I think I'm going to make one out of this first 
This is just some wallpaper, old wallpaper that someone sent me. And I don't, it's not, probably not cut straight, but I will do, I will correct that in a minute when I get it folded over. Yeah, see there's a little bit off right there, that's okay. We can trim that, just like that. Now on this one, I'm thinking that I might take it and stitch it. Let me put this in here and see if I can trim that straighter. It's still not making me happy over there. You know, there's some things that you can let go, but this has marks on it. It has lines on it. So when it has lines on it, it just about has to be straight. Yeah, that's better. So I think I'm going to take it to the sewing machine. And what I'll do first is stitch right across here so that stitching will show. And then I'll close it up and then I'll go all the way around. Like, I won't go at the bottom. I'll start here and go up across here and then down to here. But I'm going to stitch across here first before I glue that down. All right, so there is that one. Isn't that cute? And we're going to put some embellishments on them. I'm going to make one using this. This will go good in a nice spring journal. And I'm hoping this is going to be wide enough. I think it is. Ooh, it's just wide enough. Okay. Now, I'm going to try to do a little bit better job getting my... Let's see if this has a direction. Getting my glue on here. I don't think it does. Than I did before. So I'm just using some glue stick right in the middle. I don't want it to get on my sewing machine, so we're just going to use it in the middle. Now, I think I'm going to bring my fabric to the paper. Let's see. I want, yeah, I'll put that up. That way maybe I can keep from getting any wrinkles in it. And I'll probably, let's just use this little thing. All right, so that looks like it's pretty straight. Now, I did remember something when I was over there stitching a minute ago when I was trying to get that wrinkle out of the material. I noticed that she, when she started to stitch down the sides, she curled this because she said that the fabric stretches. So, let's try curling that and see if that helps. I mean, I, I don't see that my other one is too bad other than where I didn't get the glue and the fabric exactly right. But I think that will work better. Yeah, that's going to work right there. Okay. Let me see if I want to fix another one before I take this to the sewing machine because I want to, I want to do all my stitching at one time. Now this would be a really small one that we could do. Mm, that'd be really too little, I think. I'm not going to do that one. What about this fabric? That's pretty, isn't it? That'd be a nice fall fabric. Ooh, I like that a lot. Okay. Let's find a book page that might be right. Now, I have other book pages, of course, but these were the strongest ones that I had. So that's why I chose these, because I wanted something pretty strong behind my material, because this is just plain fabric. This is not upholstery fabric or anything like that. So I needed something that was pretty strong behind my material to hold the pocket in shape. Okay, I'll need to trim that down a little bit, but that's okay. Doesn't need to be that wide. And does this have a direction on it? Let's see. I think, I think this is up. I think that's the top. So we'll let this little piece be the top of our fold. Then we'll have um, some good writing there. I'm hoping that my filming on my sewing machine works. I'm filming with a completely different camera. So adding, you know, editing and putting those two videos together, I have no clue how it's going to look, but we'll see. We're, we're trying. 
I just don't want to have to move this camera every time because you know I've been having a little bit of trouble with it anyway so I think if I try moving it too many times I may have I may have issues okay I'm gonna put a little bit more right there if you can hold this fabric well enough that you don't have to glue it down then do it <laughs> I'm afraid that I wouldn't be able to all right, we're going to do those two. Now, I was going to do, let me show you what I was going to do. I was going to do one using this. This is a napkin, a paper napkin, but I actually cut it the wrong way. <laughs> I should have cut this way, and I cut across. So if I did one out of this, my butterfly, well, that butterfly would fly okay. They do fly that way sometimes, don't they? I think we'll go ahead and do it. This will have to have a, a book page or something behind it. So I think I'm going to use this because that's that's all book page. Let's see. If we put it down that way. Fold this up. And fold that over. Uh, that outside will be upside down, but this will be right side up. This will be upside down, but that's okay. I'm not worried about that. That doesn't worry me that much. Now, this was sent to me. I don't know. I think they put a spray on this to make this stiffer, the fat, the uh, napkin. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. I know there's videos out there where you can take the napkins and you can spray them or you can paint something on them and it makes them more crinkly. But you would have to kind of search the uh, YouTube channel. Ooh, I don't know which side's which. That, yeah, this side. This is the inside. So we're going to do it that way. Okay. Put this down like that. That will fold up. That will fold. Okay. I have to get my bearings straight, you know. I just wanted to do quite a few of these and hopefully it give you some ideas of ways to use different things in your stash. I mean, you know, you have scraps of material normally and uh, we usually have book pages and different things like that. So this this is just some different ideas. And I wanted to use that piece of fabric for my journal because I wanted to have that to put in my journal. Oh, look at that. I love that. Now, another thing you could have stained, you know, put coffee dyed or whatever you would like on this book page before you put this down. That would be really pretty too. Oh, I like that. Now, I am going to cut this before, since I can see through it. And I'm going to cut the top with my pinking shears. I will link these pinking shears below. I got these off of Amazon. They're very inexpensive, but they work great. That would be a nice tag, wouldn't it? And I'm just going to cut the very, very edge of that book page. And even though, well, that will be right side up when we turn it. That's going to be nice. Now, I'm just going to go straight up the book page. Straight-ish. You guys hear me say that all the time. Straight-ish. I am the world's worst at not cutting straight. But, you know, I've learned over the years not to worry about my shaky hands. To just do what I love, and that's what I'm doing. I mean, it, I couldn't, you know, not be able to use my hands since I broke both of my wrists in all the places. But I can use them. They just shake. So I'm thankful for that much. Oh, I love that. Oh, 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 oh. That's pretty. Now, this book page right here, I'm going to trim it back a little bit more than that outside because when it folds over, it shows, and I don't want that. Yeah, that'll work. And we are going to add some ink on it anyway, so not going to worry if we've got little edges that show through. So we've got three that we can take and stitch. 
Now, this is going to make a beautiful tag. Is that not? And I think I might go ahead and put this down on a book page and make our tag. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and stitch that while we're over there. Because that's too pretty to waste. All right, I'm just right now I'm just going to cut it straight or cut it off, trim it off, and then we'll decide how we want to cut the edges after I get it stitched. All right, I'm going to take my little template because I need to go ahead and trim these sides right now so that I, when I stitch it, I'll be able to stitch the sides there. So I'm just going to take my little template that I have for my tags, cut those edges off. And I'm going to need to put something on the back because it's not quite uh, stiff enough. And I have this piece of just chipboard. It's almost like a chipboard. And I think I'll just glue that down to that. This you can write on the back. It's, it's a smoother surface. Right. We'll trim this out and we'll go to the sewing machine. And if you want to get everything perfect, you can put it back in your trimmer and trim it that way. This is fine with me. Oh, I love that. Okay. We're going to make a tag out of that. You know, I may make some more tags. I've got all of this that was sent to me. And look at this. Isn't that pretty? This actually feels like it's got something on the top of it. But I don't know if it does or not. So... Uh, if the person who sent this to me, if you will comment below and let us know how you did these. I'm going to use a different book page since this is not, you know, it's going to be a tag. I don't need it as big or as sturdy. So I'm going to use an older book. This is an old, old, old book. And we'll use that page because it's all dingy and stained up. Yeah, I'm going to get the butterfly, so I don't want to trim that off. Right, I want to trim it off right there. And then I may even make a wide tag and just trim it over here past that butterfly. Because I want to, I want to get those butterflies on there. And I'm just going to, again, put a little glue right here. I'm not going to need this whole book page, but... I'm going to put a little glue at the bottom. And then, ooh, I don't want that um, label on there, that American Studio. I don't want that on there. So we'll do it like that. Oh, look at that. I love how that shows through just a little. Oh, me. See, I took her idea and I just went to town on it. Didn't I? <laughs> I just did, did my own thing. Okay, we're going to cut that up through there and across there. So first I'm just going to trim this top off because we can use that for something else. Then we'll trim this down. Now, if you do not want to see me stitch through each piece of these, you can just skip right through it. Uh, there's just so many people that ask me to please put my stitching on camera So that's what I'm trying to do, but I know some people are not interested in it So if you're not you can just Skip right through it and you can always just glue all of this and not Stitch it That is never a problem There that's a nice big journaling card. That's what we're gonna make this a journaling card and I am going to round the edges. So let's put all of this together. That's our stitching. And let's put a piece of this chipboard behind it. And this is just a very thin chipboard. It's not very thick. Oh, there is a new show that comes on. And I'm not sure what station it's on on TV. It's one of the, I don't know, CBS, NBC, something or other. I don't have a clue. You could probably just Google it and find out. But we watched the first two episodes of it last night, and it was really good. It's called The Cleaning Lady. I don't know how many of you have 
seen that. It just started coming on. But we had watched, I guess last year sometime, we had watched the Netflix movie, The Cleaning Lady. And it's based on that. It's It kind of stemmed off from that. A spin off, I guess you could call it. But I have, I enjoyed it. I mean, it's it's a little bit graphic when it comes to, you know, killing and that kind of thing. But I'm an adult, so I know I don't take guns and go out and kill people. <laughs> but you might not want to let your children watch it. That that might not be a good thing. But uh, you know, the language is not too bad. I don't think I haven't I didn't notice it being too bad. I mean, it, it shows, you know, someone getting shot, but it doesn't show it up close, something like that. But she she plays a really good part, and I can't even remember who the actress is. But anyway, look it up. You might like it. You might not. You know, it might not be your thing. I am, I love detective-type movies and things like that, so that's my cup of tea, but it might not be everybody's. Okay, I'm going to take these to the sewing machine. I'm going to stitch them. We're going to come back. And we're going to put these together. And I'm excited. I've got a lot done in this. So let's get going to the sewing machine. Right, I am excited. We have quite a few of these. There's our journaling card. Isn't that pretty? So I, I zigzagged all the way around that. This is our tag. I love that. And we will ink around these, but I'm not going to do it on camera right now. Uh oh, sorry. I was out of frame. Isn't that pretty? And then I've got my other pieces done here. This is the one that we did using the napkin that I, I think was sprayed. I do believe. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that might be it. And we're just going to turn that up. Now, Natasha, I don't think used any napkins or anything like that in hers. But I got started and I couldn't stop. I'm just using what I have, different things. I've been trying to figure out how to use these in different projects lately, so this was just a good, good opportunity. All right, I got a little bit of overage right there that I'm going to trim off right there. And that looks good. Trim my strings. Oh, I love that. Now we need to glue the sides. And I put my Fabri-Tac on top of my stitches because if you don't, it may not stick down well. I don't know why things keep sliding away from me today. I love that. I think that's one of my favorites right there. Okay, this one we need to trim a little bit. So I'm going to trim down here at the bottom, or at the top. This may be the top. And I messed up right here, so I'm going to trim that part off. I went ahead and stitched it again, right above that. So you can always fix it. Okay, then I need to trim the, these edges off a little bit. And I think I will do that with regular scissors. Now my stitching is not straight, not perfect. I don't worry about that because this is going in a journal and it doesn't have to be. But if you want yours to be perfect then you can draw lines and make sure your stitching is perfect. I don't, I'm not going to worry about that kind of stuff. It's not part of my vocabulary is to worry about that kind of thing. Alrighty, now let's see. Ooh, I need to make sure. No ugly words. No. No ugly words. This came out of a Canadian history book. Old, old, old. So I wouldn't think there would be any ugly words in that. Look at that old hut that they had to live in during the gold rush. Isn't that something? Poor kids. Okay, there we go with that one. Love it. Cool. And we have one more here, and then that will be that will be it for today. I will probably make more, but that'll be it for today. Um, let's see. I need to try to cut this 
pretty straight and I don't think my stitching went straight so I'm just gonna trim up through here when we fold it up we can tell if it's straight or not just, right now I'm just trimming it down the side that's a pretty pretty fabric right there I don't know where I got it don't know where it came from but let's see I can tell now that this side I don't have straight but we'll straighten that up in a minute Ugh, isn't that pretty I love that Alrighty, now we'll glue the sides down I like that one too that's one of my favorites as well trim that little string off and then that goes down like that and like I said we can close these with something if we want to uh, you don't have to but if you want to make make sure that they lay down flat you can but I'm not too worried about them laying down flat I'm gonna have to go back over this because it's a little crooked it's very busy material but I think it looks great okay now I have no clue what I would put down on these to close them I, I don't know that didn't let's see this is a chipboard butterfly that someone sent Ooh, isn't that pretty and you could put some um, you could put some color on that and even uh, you could even spray it and do a little ink on there that would be so pretty let's just see what it looks like if we've got a little ink on it then you could put that down like that and just glue this bottom and have it to where it would just tuck in you can put a magnet on here, a Velcro dots, tons of different things that you could do. If you wanted to put your butterfly straight, you could put it that way. Um, you could put a button on here and do the little string closure. I'm not sure how I'm going to close all of mine. You'll probably see that in the end. Um, in the end of the video on the pictures. Because I'm not, I'm not 100% sure right now what I want to do as far as closures are concerned. I won't add my closures to all of them. I'll probably add the closures to a few of them just so that you can see how I closed the ones that I have. And then you can definitely close yours like you want. So it's just lots of different ways that you can close them. Like I said, I'll put a few pictures in the at the end so that you can see how I close the ones that I did today some of them I won't close I will just wait until I start to use them in a journal and then I'll close them then but that is it for today's video I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you'll grab out your fabric scraps and your napkins and whatever you have and give this a try because it's lots and lots of fun <laughs> and look how many we made in just a short time so all right, guys, we will talk to you later. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and leave us comments below. We want to hear from you guys. We will talk to you later. Bye-bye.